Hello everyone, Editor Me here, just to let you know that the following episode of Let's Play Dune is going to be slightly different to the previous ones, in that it has been edited down from several hours of footage, rather than uh, continuous as live as the previous episodes have been. And this is partly for technical reasons, because there were some recording issues that I had to edit around, but also for narrative reasons, which you'll, you'll get to see when we get to the end of the video. So I'll hand back over to me, who is introducing at the time they recorded. Hello everyone, welcome back to Arrakis for another episode of Let's Play Dune, the 1992 video game adaptation of the 1965 novel and 1984 film. This is the Amiga version, we're on our 89th day of Christmas 72, which uh, seems to have jumped up a lot since the last episode. I believe we started that one with 50, um, but we have achieved a lot in the meantime. I think the, the foremost thing we did was, oh that seems to have changed again. The foremost thing we did was to um, drink the water of life, which increased Paul's extrasensory powers. He can now contact anyone on the planet from anywhere on the planet, which is an enormous jump in power. Um, and it feels like it's probably the, the final step before the conclusion of the game. Um, so we did that and drinking the water of life kind of cemented us in the eyes of the Fremen as their prophet and their messiah. So I think the game is sophisticated enough and, and wise enough to leave that um, as a big question, uh, as, an open, as an open question for us to consider. Um, but yeah, that's a, an interesting aspect that's, that's been embraced here. We also managed to locate and free Charney at last after um, many, many rounds of searching for fortresses and, uh, and liberating them. We recovered her and that seems to have had a big uh, effect on uh, some of the mechanisms in the game as well. So that could be part of the charisma boost. Um, it certainly enormously boosted the morale of the Fremen. I find it interesting how much textual emphasis and mechanical emphasis has been placed on Charney since um, she entered the story uh, because the her actual presence and role and certainly her relationship with Paul are very thinly drawn there's there's almost nothing there uh, which I find uh, interesting I mean the the game is operating on a level where some of it what is doing uh, is in the text. Um, quite a lot of it is subtext and what the uh, what you can infer from the mechanics, so what they suggest and how they influence your actions by what is a sensible solution to the problem presented to you. I think that's, that's an element of what is going on here. Let's uh, concentrate on what I'm doing so I'm trying to get more wind traps going because I'm conscious that um, we've probably only got like another couple of rounds before uh, we start running out of spice and potentially then we're looking at the game wrapping itself up one way or another so if we can get um, as much of everything uh, done as we can in that amount of time that would be great. So I think our stats changed mid-convo there because I ha because our battle was won. If they're okay there, let's see if we can speed things up a bit and get people um, espionaging. Oh, we can't. We can't get them to espionage. Interest. Um, if I look at the spice density map for an overview, so does that mean we can't go any further north of this area? Maybe we can't. How about the next uh, along? Your experts, brilliant. Can you do okay? No, you can't do espionage either. That's interesting. So you down here, you are expert, you don't have wheeling modules, but could you, 
Okay, theoretically you could espionage. That's interesting. You know what? We could probably head this way though, couldn't we? That might be profitable. So if I get... Yeah, this is a well-equipped uh, set of people. So let's move you to this one. Um, and then you can be the ones to espionage from there, hopefully, even if it's sideways. And I want to get the prospectors to go here as well, so we can work out what's going on there. Okay, I think we're running out of planet, which actually, that's probably a good thing. So if I move you to, so the place I could espionage from is here, right? So let's let's get you there because you're a well-equipped expert. So I think that makes sense. So they've only got 14%. Yeah, so I guess we have, if that's the part we're thinking about, we have conquered that. Then. Um, so it's kind of just this border here. If we had like 365 days, we could completely uh, convert this planet, I think, at the rate we're doing. Thanks, and can you move to here as well? Um, so that you can get, get those precious um, those precious seeds, those bulbs, and bring them back to this area so we can start really getting to work. Oh, where are you off to? Yeah, I guess there could be like a region here. Could be all of that region actually, couldn't it? Okay, they found that up there. Interesting. That's a lot higher up than uh, I thought it might be. Uh, let's get in touch here first. Simpo Poyot. We've been doing espionage for a few hours. We've seen one Harkonnen troops. Armament is impressive here. We can see that they seem more trained too. Do you, you have atomics? You do. Okay. Can I get you to attack? this one please can I give you one of these please okay the um I think the the amount is decreasing which is interesting so we, we will have a limited number of um, planters available you're never alone as long as you've got worms oh hello are you okay? You won the battle mode, Dib, here in Simpo Pearl. Yo! They're winning so fast now. Um, as well. That's intriguing. So I th don't think we need to have any particular percentage of control to, to conclude the game. I think we just need to take all the Harkonnen uh, bases. I think we kind of need to find if there's anybody in these areas. I think there probably will be. There's probably people there as well um, that we haven't come across yet. And there's, there probably is in this area too. There's quite a large area of the map that we, we haven't filled in. Um, I don't know how, how easy it is to do that really. So this person here, right, can I Get you to espionage? Great. Okay, you go espionage. So I think you'll pick up what's in the middle here. Hopefully. Um, and we can probably move on to that next and then take that one. And then we're getting pretty close. I don't know if there's um, kind of like a hidden uh, counter somewhere because our statistics don't uh, overtly track the um, amount of greenery that's spread or the amount of water on the planet. Um, but I wonder, I wonder if it's um, the game is quietly keeping track of that, because there might be a, a tipping point at which um, uh, the the greenery takes hold and the, um, the entire ecosystem continues to change without um, needing tending. So you're you're still on your way to espionage. My troop is going behind the Harkonnen lines to find a fortress. Okay, good luck. Um, so that's all good, I think. Ah, oh, you found one. Okay. Um, Simposiet. 
Okay. Yeah, so um, no more orders. So you you see what's going on there. Let's uh, check the spice density for the regional map. Yeah, so two small areas there. And there's probably like one or two small areas to the side as well. if anybody can espionage from from that location maybe there's just so much of this planet it's um yeah it's hard to do everything within the time frames given oh okay what do you think um one troop Oh, my dear, we have found the toughest Harkonnens of all here. Okay, interesting. So the toughest fighters, but just one troop of them. Interesting. Um, you're well equipped. There's lots of you. Let's do it. Let's just risk it. Let's risk it all. Um, there. Ah, the greenery spread to there now, which I'm hoping is going to have an effect. It would be nice. It's really interesting how um, now the, f the final piece of the communication uh, has been unlocked. This is, is now effectively turned into like a map based um, real time strategy game. Uh, which is, is really interesting. It's, it's kind of been this really slow conversion from um, something akin to a first-person adventure game to uh, something very much akin to a, uh, a real-time strategy game in many of the ways that we'd recognise it. Uh, it's a fascinating game. So you're fighting. It's much confusing on the Harkons, it's going to be easy to route them? Okay. Well that sounds positive, doesn't it? Can I... S I don't know, I can't remember if I've already checked. Can I send anybody from here to do an espionage? I can. Well, let's do that. Um, so we can map this area out. That would be very helpful. Oh, okay. I think we've won that battle. We have. Aha! Give me intel! Our King Trek, we've been doing espionage for a very short time. We've seen one Harkonnen troops. Oh well, dear, we have found the toughest Harkonnens of all here. Okay, well that seems to be same level as this area, so if we meet it with the same level of force, we should be fine, really. So could you come around the other side of the planet, please, and uh, uh, do a little bit of digging there? I'm afraid there are too many people there. Oh, interesting. All right, well in a minute then. Yeah, I guess there's limited space for uh, for all the sprites, isn't there? You know, there might be areas, if there are mountainous areas, there might be regions there that actually don't have anybody in. That is entirely possible. Well, let's just keep, oh, it looks like a CH there on the left. Brilliant. We have found a new place. This is awesome. Okay, let's pop in, see who's there. I didn't know this yet. You are really amazing, Maladib. You like our sketches, don't you? Ooh, hello. So, is this Maladib we've heard about? Rally to me? These Harkonnens have treated us and despised us and treated us badly for too long. You can count on my troop for aid in your battles. Okay. Um, the troops are waiting. Settled in Erickson Harg, awaiting your orders. Well, hang on. Let me just have a little peek at the, the map. Um, great. So, uh, the prospectors. Let's find them. Hi. 
um, could I get you to go to here um, so we can work out what's going on there that would be awesome um, and how is the current harvesting operation going okay so you guys can also move to that location so there's probably going to be some spice there I expect Okay, we'll probably get a message from Duncan soon as well saying don't forget about the Emperor I mean this could be the deep desert that the uh, the Fremen of the, the southern hemisphere were talking about I'm kind of assuming we uh, took that uh, collaborative working we found a solution to that collaborative working problem um, as we seem to have combined quite a few different troops at least uh, over the over the time so I su suspect when we arrive we're gonna get this uh, reminder Paul don't forget the spice shipments for the Emperor and we'll go and do, do that cool oh yeah another message isn't coming okay it's uh, we have finished our prospecting job here in Erkson Hog great um, I will um, have a look at that in a sec. Let's do this. First. Oh, I've only got one from... We haven't even got the reminder yet. That's good. I want a shipment of 23,680 kilograms of spice today. Can't stock the spice up. Ooh, only 47,000. Okay. Um... Yeah, okay, that's better. The Emperor did ask for a shipment, yeah. Um, yeah, let's send him what he's asked for. Okay, come with me. So I'm... Behind the scenes, I wonder if the Emperor is finding out any information about Arrakis from other sources. And whether our converting the planet to... Uh, to greenery is going to have an effect that way. I mean, it may or may not. There might be a plot thing with the Emperor that only gets triggered when you, you're you unable... Okay, we're going to feel a bit of pressure now because it's uh, four days. Um, and we've only just about got enough to pay pay that one off properly if it stays around the 25,000 uh, mark. Oh! <gasps> we took one, uh, back that one! The Harkonnens all moved away when they saw this vegetation. All they wanted was that spice. With vegetation there can be no spice. <gasps> and you... Oh, whoa. Okay. We, um... It worked. That's amazing. Okay. Where's the uh, the atomic? There they are. So if I get them to go to... Let's take this one. I think. Yeah, let's do it. So at the moment, there seems to be no downside to riding... Oh, hello. We won the battle, my dear. Here in our King Chuek. Yo! Oh my goodness, okay. It's going very well. So, I was going to go to... Is it this one? I think it was this one, wasn't it? Hopefully I haven't got this wrong. I should get a warning if I have, though, which is nice. Yeah, oh look at the trees! They're big! <sighs> Okay, anybody around? Hi guys. The Harkonnens all moved away when they saw this vegetation. All they wanted was the spice. With vegetation there can be no spice. We've been compelled to work for the Harkonnens for so many years. We were nothing more than slaves. My men and I are so grateful to you for having freed us. Many believe you are the prophet we've been waiting for. Alright, will you rally to me? Yes, my dear, but I want to be part of your followers. May you and Stilgar bring our people the revival we hope for so much. We've been compelled to work for the Harkonnens for so many years. Can I ask you 
to um, specialize in ecology, please. Yeah, please do that. Please build a wind trap. Okay, you guys. Average and spice on trial army. Um, I guess that was from the occupation, wasn't it? Um, ah, I'd like you to be a ecologist too. Can I get you to do wind trapping as well? Yeah, okay, that's cool. All right, so we'll we'll do that, and then these guys have won the battle, right? So we need to get there. So let's uh, let's go in person. Oh, we only got Charlie with us. I forgot to pick up Stilgar. Sorry, sorry, Stilgar. Um, but mind you, it kind of makes sense for Paul and Charlie to have some alone time, doesn't it? So let's go with that. Go with that theory. Uh, so we're going to this one. Yeah, pretty sure that's it. Okay, it was another tower shaped one. Okay, how are you doing guys? Yeah, great work. You, um, you're so, so efficient now. It's, um, it's incredible. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah, great job, thank you. And then... We've been compelled to work for the Harkonnens for so many years, we were nothing more than slaves. My men and I are so grateful to you for having freed us. Many believe you are the prophet we've been waiting for. Um, would you like to rally to me? Yes, my dear. Would you like to be ecologists? Yeah, would you like to build a wind trap? Because... That sounds like a good thing to do. Hooray. Fab. So there's going to be water here. Oh, is there equipment here? There could be, couldn't there? Um, there's atomics. Oh my goodness. Well, you can have atomics then. Oh my god. Atomics? Yeah, I know. It's... um. It's pretty uh, dubious, isn't it? Ah, nobody's transforming that into a... Oh, that's interesting. Nobody's transforming that into a sea edge. Wonder how, when, if that happens. Um, if I look at the global view, is that something we control now? Is that is that ours? I think it is, isn't it? Harkonnens are down to 10%. They still control... Ooh, all... I'm not quite sure they've got little blobs around here because that's that's not theirs, that's... Nobody's or ours. But they control a big blob around this side of the planet. So if I look at that on the map, they control stuff here. Because we... Actually, we might have to take... If, the, if there are fortresses around there, we might have to take all those as well before we can conceivably take on the uh, the main fortress. I think I'll take a worm over to this one as well. See if there's anything to find out on the frontier here. Go in and see, folks. Um, hiya. Wind trap assembly. Nice. Harkonnen's not very far from here. Okay. Cool. So that's that gives me a good indication. Um, uh, great. Oh, there we need motivation. There's a CH not far from here westwards, okay. 
Now that's the kind of information I do need. Thank you, everybody. Okay, come on, Charlie. Let's uh, let's call a wham. So well, that's Westwards. Let's go there. Oh, lovely! We've got another magenta sunset. How romantic! See anything? No, it's hard in the in the twilight. There should be a sketch around here somewhere. <gasps> Looks like a village there on the right. Okay. Interesting. I'm pretty sure they said sketch, didn't they? But let's, let's see what this smuggler's got. Well, let me see if I have something for you. I have an awning for trade, okay. Um, I'm not too bothered about an awning. Um, what else do you have? Weirding modules. That's a pretty good deal for weirding modules, okay. Um, spice harvest, okay. Not really, not really needing those at the moment. Um, okay. So you're probably a good place for wording modules. Okay, nice. Okay, so we didn't find that yet, did we? Um, that's cool. Wow. And kind of have a look over here. It's kind of westwards, isn't it? Oh, you know, okay, well, I'll head back to the CH if uh, nothing seems to be happening. Um, I need to ask if those the soldiers there can have a look for Harkonnens. I wonder if the um, the tips from the Fremen chiefs um, say village instead of Siege. Um, they don't have an option to say village. I wonder if that's the case. Let's go there. I don't think we've missed out on anything. Let's go talk to them in person. Um, is it you? Um, but you carry on with your wind trap, please. Um, can you go do some espionage? Great. Well, that will help uh, fill the map out, won't it? Oh, there, okay, there is an area here in the middle as well. I guess I'll wait to see if that's Harkonnen controlled or uh, potentially one that we could we could uh, fill in ourselves. Okay, now that is a CH, so we can get some troops attacking down here, can't we? So we've got two groups with, um, it's a lovely CH, we've got two groups with Atomic, so let's move that group uh, there. Um, is it these? No, not these guys. These guys? No, these guys? No, these guys hidden behind the harvester. No, somebody's got atomics. Where are they? No. Oh. Have I just moved the atomics from one person to another? I might have done. Oh well, doesn't much matter. Let's um. Let's move this troop there as well. Let's move this troop 
there as well. Okay, what, uh, what's happening? We won the battle mark to appear in our kings yet. Yo! Great. Okay. Did my customary uh, talk around everybody? Say, well done. Um, you're a very impressive fighting force. Room. We haven't captured any more Harkonnens, have we? We were compelled to work for the Harkonnens for so many years, we were nothing more than slaves. My men and I are so grateful to you for ha having freed us. Many believe you are the prophet we've been waiting for. Will you join me? If you manage to convince Stilgar, the proudest man among us, your cause is surely just. We will join you in your fight. My men and I are so grateful to you for having freed us. Many believe you are the prophet we've been waiting for. Will you uh, take up the occupation of ecology? And will you assemble a wind trap? I think that's, that's probably the way to go, isn't it? Just getting loads of wind traps in as many places as possible. Um, it's really hard to tell what's actually here. I think all this stuff is just the stuff they brought with them, to be honest. There might be some harvesters around, but. So I think next up we're gonna we're gonna march on that one, right? I guess we can see if we can do any espionage from around here. Should I try and do that? You're not best equipped, so let's take somebody who's better equipped. You are. Can I get you to espionage? I can. Okay. So that should fill in another square of the map. Let's check on the other group who was doing espionage. Um, somewhere over here? Oh, you're all the way over here. Wow, let's have a look at the map. Is this a Oh, that's a large area there. So actually, there should be a CH in here somewhere, right? Okay, what do you say? Um, I see one half of the troops. Armament is impressive here. We can see that they seem well trained too. Okay, cool. So... Whoa, okay, this is a massive one. A true percent of Arakeen Tabir. We've been doing espionage for a short time. Uh, we've seen three Harkonnen troops. We've found the toughest Harkonnens of all here. Okay, that's not going to be so easy if there's a triple, a triple troop of them. Um, okay, that's something to bear in mind. Actually, so there's a region in between there as well, isn't there? Can I get you to move to here? Or to... Yeah, I think I can get you to move to there. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it does. Nice. And we still know about that one. Fantastic. So day 100, I think, is when we're going to need to pay more bills, unfortunately. Let's talk to the people who are here. Okay. Very good. Okay, nobody's mentioned anything about a... Uh... CH. No, wait. We'd rather you don't visit our CH. There's nothing in here for you to see. Oh, do I need Stilgar with me for that? Do they have water here? Yeah, six drops of water, so that might be um that might be it. We might need Stilgar before we can go in in there. Uh, that's fair enough. Um right, let's worm around a bit. So we could I don't know, we could head up like that angle a bit. Let's try that. Um, make sure we pick up Stilgar when we go back to the uh, the palace.
Okay, fingers crossed, where's the edge? Okay, that wasn't really working out, was it? Um, so, what if we head back to sort of this kind of midpoint between the village and the, uh, the CH we already know about? That might work. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh no, that was the. That was just the village, wasn't it? Was it? Sorry, that was the village we just found out about. I feel like there really should be a CH around here somewhere. doesn't seem to be appearing though, does it? Um, it's like right up there. Okay, this will be my last try before I head back to the palace. I'd be a little confused if we don't discover something around here. Yeah, it's not really not really working out, is it? Okay. I think we're gonna have to change our destination and um go pay our bills okay i suspect we're gonna have a maybe a couple of messages there messages arrived in the palace and uh paul oh, don't forget the spy shipments for the emperor okay let's go do it sorry about this Charlie. I'll go check in with Jessica as well. Hi, Stilgar. Um, new messages. I want a shipment of 25,870 kilograms of spice today. So it's only going up by small increments now, which I think is the game uh, being quite generous to us. Um, our stocks of spice are currently 27,030 kilograms. Yesterday we only produced 30 kilograms of spice, that's 200 less than the day before. Uh, the Emperor asked for shipment of spice, didn't he? We can send him a 25,870 as our stocks are. Okay, let's do it. 
Okay, cool. Okay, Duncan. Let's do it. Spice has been shipped. Let's wait for the Empress reaction. We don't have to worry, we're somebody asked. Ah, the answer has just come. Let's have a look at this message. Okay, yeah, yeah. I always forget that I have to do that myself. You sent me the spice I've asked you. Good, next ship will be four days from now. I um, I wonder if this has intentionally tightened things up a bit. It certainly does make it more uh, dramatic. Not knowing the consequence of not being able to meet that payment next time is interesting. The Emperor only seems to be interested in getting spice. Hmm, I wonder if he's hiding something. Nothing new yet. Hmm, indeed. Still gotta come with us. Yes, my dear, but I'm with you. Now let's go see Lady Jessica. I suspect she probably hasn't got much to tell us. Do my best to help you, Paul, but sometimes you have to manage. All right, let's just get all these people into the field, I think. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm gonna go from where, oh, hello. Finished our prospecting job. Fantastic, thank you. Um, anything else? The Harklands are attacking Arakeen Chuek. Where is that? Um, is it over here? I don't know. I think they won their battle though, which is good. So where's Arakeen Drek? Oh my goodness, there's too much of a, there's too many places to look at. Is it this one? Arakeen Drek. Yeah, because we had we had, uh, ah, yeah, okay, yeah, so that's one we had conquered, and it's going to change back, gotcha. So I have got the troops here to take that back, I think, um, but I want to see what the other places are like as well. Um, there's probably another Harkin one there? Probably. I'm surprised they took anything back, to be honest. Um, They've been very lackluster. Um, we should probably. Uh, where is our body? Still here. We should probably get our body to uh, the new place, which is. Where is the new place? There. Oh yeah, I can get the um, the troop that isn't transforming this one could i get you to espionage please then we can work out what's going on in that area oh it's another biggie see three harkland troops armament is impressive here we see that they seem well trained too well you know what i'm gonna get this person to move. Um, I think they should go to, to, oh hello, move to this one. I think that's good. And who's got our atomics? You have. I think you should move over to here too. Okay, so, what's the situation? Okay, you're still trying to determine what's going on there. That's cool. I So I think these places are probably going to be a bit easier to, um, to work out than elsewhere. Okay, so we've kind of got a spot in an island there, which is interesting. Um, Yeah. Okay. 
Ah, what do you say? Uh, one, the toughest. Okay, we can take on the one of the toughest. I'm sure we can. Still, there's probably going to be quite a few areas around here that we still need to do, isn't there? That's um, hmm, going to be interesting. Oh, you've done it! Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I'm going to move you guys to attack here, and um, let's move you guys to attack here, and move you guys to attack here. So if I head there, um, where am I? I've completely forgotten. I, okay, hello? You want some battle mode, dude? Here in Hug Clam, yo! Okay, well let's let's get a worm there. Oh, I think there might be some extra uh, atomics around here. So let's see if we can equip people with those. So one of these guys, can they? Yeah, it's a lovely sketch. Can I get you to espionage, please? Thanks. Okay, we're heading up north, so that means there's going to be a section up here, probably. Um, so we definitely take that next. I think that's... ooh, that's quite a big region. That would be handy to get. I'm fighting the, uh, the notion that all this might end up being for nothing. Oh, did you say what? Well, okay, we can take those. We can take those guys. You know what? We should head back there. Because we have an um, reunited Kynes and Charney. You guys. Um, can I get you to uh, go search for equipment? Oh my god, Atomics. Okay, lovely. So. You can have one of those. Um, yeah, uh, I think you've got everything. Yeah, you've got everything you need. Okay, so these two are the atomic atomic bombs, aren't they? So let's move them to here. So I'll send another one in for that. Um, and then I no, I didn't want to exit maps. Oh, I kind of did because I want to get a worm. Let's call a worm. Actually, let's talk to Charlie. See if Charlie notices the vegetation. It's dirty. <laughs> Probably gonna get a message from Thufa. A message has arrived in the palace. Okay, uh, and we won the battle mode dear, here in Haga Semin. Yahoo! You remember there is a message for you in the communication room? I do remember. Charlie, I'm glad to see my father. Okay, fair enough. Um, I suspect that's the, probably the impatient message about uh, not having received a shipment. Okay, so number one was ooh twenty nine thousand two hundred and ninety. Okay, um, we're not going to have that. I'm probably lucky if we have nine thousand. You didn't respond to my orders. You will send me the spice I require now or suffer dire consequences. Okay, um, he probably seems to be interested in getting spice. Hmm, I wonder if he's hiding something. Nothing new yet. Okay. Uh, 
interesting. So if we talk to Duncan, our stocks of spice are currently 11,270, that's not too bad. It's they only produced uh, 1,820, that's uh, 1,310 less than they before. The Emperor asked for his first but didn't he? Unfortunately, we don't have enough spice in stock at the moment. I don't know how the Emperor will react, but this won't be good for us. Why don't you find out why the Fremen troops can't produce more spice? I mean, I, mean, I know. We can send to the totality of our stocks that would make a shipment of 11,270 kilograms of spice. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, Johnny, this might be strange. Okay. I, I kind of know why we can't make the quota because we're... We've mined most of the spice. I'm a little bit nervous about this. We haven't sent him much. Ah, the answer is just come. Let's have a look at this message. Okay. You're trying to fool me, Paul Atreides. I know that you can do better than that. Don't do that again. In four days, I will require more spice. Okay. Um. Okay, that kind of extends the timer a little, doesn't it? I have experimented a little bit and I know for certain now that what we are looking at is uh, we have four days to make our quota. We won't be able to make our quota, the resources just aren't there. and. That means that we have until the dawn of day 112. Before the Emperor's Sardelka troops uh, come and invade Dune, and it's an instant game over for us. So we're going to have to take drastic action. And any hope that I had of uh, pursuing ecology as the solution, the, the time just isn't there. So everybody's gonna be converted to uh, to military military causes. So that's part of what we're going to be doing here right now. Get everybody to the most efficient way to equip them is to uh, send the command of go and search for um, equipment because if there's something already there they'll pick it up and yeah so part of what we're going to do now is is this so the most I guess the most time sensitive way of using our time is purely on this map screen um, we are going to have to spend a bit of time waiting for things to happen but I think that's better than traveling around where you miss out on fine tuning your commands um, because you have to um, make discrete lumps in time, make discrete jumps in time, excuse me. Um, so we've got these three to take on, we've got those two. I believe there's one, one or two, I think, in that region as well. There might be one down here as well. Uh, from my experiments, the interest one of the interesting nuances of the game is that this isn't necessarily the Fremen survival we're fighting for. It's definitely Paul's because everything finishes if if Paul dies. Um, so we're very much um, imperative on. Uh, Paul's interest in survival which is interesting um, and obviously it doesn't feel like there's any good ending possible now the, the conclusion I'd like to have is to have enough time to um, convert the planet to greenery and drive the Harkonnens out that way but there's, there's, I don't think there's any way around the time of the Emperor's, uh, the Emperor's schedule so yeah we, we're going to have to fight a lot to fight scrappily 
and I think lose a lot of people, which is um, it's a real shame. Um, oh yeah, let me show you what happens if you uh, try and attack the. Uh, if you try and attack their palace, uh, this is the response you get. What? You really want us to rush into the lion's mouth, don't you? Um, and they just ignore it, so they don't they don't take you seriously at that point. Oh, hang on. The the Harkonnen took over that location while we weren't looking. Wow, that's that's pretty devastating. Okay. Um, okay, and these guys are finished with that. Okay, they found this. Uh, well, Harkonnen troops aren't as impressive, but they're not the toughest. So. Um, are these the toughest? Okay, they're not the toughest. Um, so let's get anybody who's got a... Uh... Oh, okay, we've got some extra atomics there. Great. Okay, so I'm definitely moving you to there. What do you have? Oh, you could get um, these, right? So I'm hoping there's another expert group with atomics, yeah. So militarily speaking, that makes sense for you, oh, you to go to there. And then one more group as well. Well, you've got atomics as well. Well, in that case, I'm gonna hold you back. Um, so we've got three groups, okay. So you, I'm probably going to move over to uh, to this area because uh, that would make you a formidable team as well. Okay, how's it going? Oh, they did it! Brilliant. Okay. So I th I think actually this is this area done. I think there's just one bridging space there that we need to get to as well. So I'm going to get you guys to attack this place. Okay, so I think we took that one, didn't we, while I wasn't paying attention. I won the battle. So there are kind of two ways you can um, lose to the Emperor. One is, I don't know, I'm not sure which one's more dignified really. Um, if you go back to the palace in time and send off as much spice as you've got, but it's not enough for the second uh, period in a row, uh, then the you get a very snippy message back from the Emperor. And the next thing you know, you are decomposing in the desert because Saldalka troops have, uh, have uh, come to uh, run roughshod over Dune. And uh, the other way you can do it is uh, just stick on the map like this and ignore uh, any messages you might receive because they don't come up in the map view uh, and then it will come to you two days after the due date so the beginning of day 112 and then you automatically meet them the same fate you'll uh, you'll see the uh, the uh, death screen the, the game over screen for Paul um, and you'll get the same message from the Emperor so whether you heeded the message um, or not the effect will be applied. Um, what uh, occurred to me is that it would be kind of nice because you don't you don't get to find out about the exact mechanics of the ecology um, portion of the, the game and you don't get access to it until I say the middle of the game? It feels like the middle of the game for me. So it would be nice if you could even on a first playthrough like this is um, you could find a way to get around the Emperor's requirements subvert that or change that somehow so that that time limit which has has been strongly suggested uh, but you never really know until the end that it's uh, definitive if you can get around that to give yourself an extended period of time to um, use ecology I kind of prefer that as a uh, 
as a role playing option. I understand why there would be some hard limits here to to make it a strategic challenge. Um, but I kind I'd kind of like that flexibility. I think that would sit better with all the interesting narrative stuff that the game is doing. But then maybe it really it wants to make the the best ending out of this scenario absolutely the hardest to get the um, the easiest perhaps to resource but very much the hardest to um, to be successful with you're not great to train okay we've got some okay these guys are so let's get them over here so I don't think it's too much of a loss if we don't visit the new locations that we managed to liberate and recruit new troops because they don't really have time to train in anything. Um, so the most important thing would be equipment if, if new equipment is available, but I don't think it necessarily is. From there as well. Did I not send somebody to... I did send somebody for espionage. It's you, isn't it? Can you espionage from here? Thanks. So we need to find that place as well. Oh, okay. Great. Let's see what's going on here. Um, one half of troop, the toughest, but it's the it's only one of them. We know we can take those. So who have we got here? Um, it's a lovely CH. Um, you're an expert with atomics. You're also an expert with lots of men, which is good. Um, you're an well equipped expert. You're an expert. You're an expert. Okay, so we, we can't really lose from this point of view, can we? Um, so let's get you over there. And then let's get you over there. Let's get you over there. So waiting for these two CHs to, to pay out there. But you've won the battle, which is great. A few good results there. 50%, 110th day. Okay. I'm uh, going to try this out. I don't know if it will work. We haven't got a lot to lose. But let's, um, let's see if we can get everybody who's here to... this one all right so let's get another thing going let's move you up there and move you up there and move you up there okay so we're going to engage on two fronts there let's see how that goes it could be a disaster frankly See what happens in our fights. Oh, I think you guys took that over. Oh, that's amazing. And then I've got another group here. Um, I'm pretty sure you are army. Yeah, you're experts. Okay. Oh, and you had all this stuff. We'll have all this stuff back. God, Atomics. It's been days since we heard from you. You were captured. Okay, let's do another attack. Let's do um, this one. Sure, this one. You know what? Let's try this. Um, because we don't have a lot of time. Let's just throw everybody at everything. Oh yes, there's a few static images, so quite a few people have been captured, I think. Um, yeah, it might be a case of atomics. A time for atomics. Uh, they're also uh, pretty dangerous, okay. Are we kissing? Oh dear. Okay, but you're there on your own for some reason, which is not 
Not what I would have hoped for. Okay, so I think the folks here have all been captured, right? Okay, that's not good. The folks here have all been captured apart from this person. So let's see if I can get them out. Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay, here we've turned the tide, I think. Yeah, so I think like two atomics people um, is required to crack the hard ones, so these two. Two atomics people and some backup. They won the battle. Brilliant. Alright, so I've got three sketches in the making, which is good, but the, uh, the time's just about to run out. Okay, we're doing, we're doing some fighting. Okay, we'll see how that goes. How's this battle going? Okay, I th think they're doing all right. I think they're actually doing okay. Oh, uh oh, this is the end of the game. We so nearly made it, didn't we? Wow. As Paul Atreides failed to respond to my spice demands, my sad Elkas, terror, terror troops took control of the planet. This was the end of the Atreides' 111th day on Dune. And that's it. So that's one way the story ends. Uh, I think. Next time we might try something different, if we can, so join me for that. Um, and on this, this somber note, thank you very much. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.